Well, I don't know about you folks, but here in Arizona, it's hot. That sun just burns down on you, something horrible. Oops. Yeah, I forgot to take off my glasses. But I can you can't I can't see you anyway. Only you can see me. For you. Well, you know, I, I got to thinking, I had to, so many people write me about different things and talk to me about different things and some of them tell me how weary they are. They just don't know what this world is coming to. They're talking now about the tornado that hit Moore, Oklahoma. And uh, they're talking about uh, floods and the tsunami. And they still talk about all the natural disasters. And then they tell me about how come man is so inhumane to man. What, what is this? Is this the end of times where we're going to have wars and Rumors of wars and all this, it's always the end of time. Time is a fleeting thing. It's now. That's all we have is now. And that's why you should take the best care of you that you can. Stay healthy, both in mind and body and spirit. Mostly spirit. I don't care what happens to the body. You know, that, that's, that's a very impermanent thing. It's not, that's not the real you. The real you is spirit within. Oh, so things may not be going so well for you. It's okay to lose a battle every now and then. Even in, in military exercises, they say, lose the battle, win the war. Well, that's okay, too. The idea is that it's up to you what you make out of things that happen to you. You know, we have a good book. That's the Bible. It's a good book. A lot of people don't understand it. Some people have no idea what it's about. A lot of history in the Bible. History of a, a people written from their viewpoint. And that's the other thing we have to understand. Everybody interprets things from their viewpoint. You and I, we do the same thing. We interpret things from our viewpoint. What's happening to us today is what's happening to us today. What happened to the last week or the month, month or a year ago, that's past. And believe me, today will pass too. So it's up to you to live today to the best of your ability to get the most out of the next day, the future day. They say tomorrow never comes. That's true. Because today is all there is. You got to make the most out of it. You know, you can let other people make suggestions or even lead you along, try to manipulate you. They say, well, look, I feel this way or I do that way. And, and then you're supposed to respond to that. And usually, if we love them, we like them, we, we go along with it. And I've learned a technique, and I want to share it with you. And this is it. You shake your head yes. And that means not that you're agreeing with them. God don't want you to be a doormat. But it means I understand what you're saying. I understand what you mean. But I have a life to live. It's me. I'm living my life. And I'm living it in the most spiritual way that I know how. And if you want me to go along with you, that's fine. But you'll find someone else that'll do that. I'm going my way. And you can go along with me. You're welcome to. But I'm still going my way. I'm going to do it my way because... I let my spirit lead me. I'm not out or directed by jingles on the radio or, or little thing, advertisements on the TV. I am me, and I live a spiritual life. How do I know it's spiritual? Because it's love and action. I try to put love and action in everything I do. That doesn't mean that I'm going to be a doormat. That doesn't mean that you can tromp all over me or... You can twist me around, get me to do what you want to do, or they, all that, because I, I can make up my own mind, and I usually do. Sometimes I do go your way, because that's the right way at that time. And after a while, though, I'll, I'll think about it, and maybe I made a mistake. Well, if I made a mistake, I don't have to dwell on the past, do I? Because it passed, and I don't have to dwell on it today, because today's going to pass. What do I have? I have to forgive myself. I have to love myself and I have to love you and everybody else. Don't have to like you anymore. 
because if you try and twist my my rope and out in the wind, let me just be there. And like the old song says, the rope twisting in the wind. No. What it means is that I know what I should be doing and I know that I can do it. Because God created me in the nature of God. And that nature is creative and full of love. And I'm full of love and I want you to know that you're full of love too. Oh, maybe it hadn't come out or maybe you think loving is doing what uh, you're told to do when even if you know it's not right or if it isn't pleasing. And if you're suffering any way, shape, or form, physical, mental, emotional, it ain't right. It ain't right if it's that way. Life is to be enjoyed. Life is a trip, and you got to enjoy a trip. And you got to look forward to the goal. you got to look forward to the purpose. And our purpose is to grow spiritually. And the goal, ah, the goal is we're created in the nature of God. That's the goal. That means, as Jesus put it, know ye not that ye are God's? Think about that. Live your life accordingly. Love y'all. Talk to y'all next week.